Adam, uh, seven nil victory over the Milton Keynes Lightning tonight. Um, is that as close to the 60 minute performance that you've had this season? Uh, you know, I, th I think we've had uh, we've had a couple before. Um, obviously, earlier on in the season, and um, but uh, I was very happy with tonight and, and the full 60. And I thought, that, you know, in a game like that, they can get away from you, and uh, you know, you, you start doing things wrong, bad habits, and creep back in. But I thought for the most part, uh, we played a full 60 and a smart 60. And um, I thought we didn't kill ourselves too much. Uh, we should have plenty left in the tank for tomorrow. And I mean, that's the big thing. Tomorrow, Coventry, uh, first visit to the Sky Dome this season. Um, it's a notoriously a difficult place to go to, but uh, they've had some good form uh, at home so far this season. Yeah, I mean, they're always, it's always tough in there. I think our first time going into Coventry last year, uh, we had a little bit of an eye opener ourselves, so um, we want to make sure that that we are ready for the challenge tomorrow. And that's something we spoke about after. Is, you know, it was great. We won two games. It's great. It's over now. Let's move on and, and get ready. Tomorrow is a real big test for us. Uh, uh, I'm looking for a character win, and I'm looking for our guys to to take that on board. And uh, obviously, with the the big road trip that's going to be coming up here, and I don't know when, but. Uh, it's coming up on us soon, and you know we want to build towards that uh, that road warrior mentality that that uh, we took on last season, and, and we know that it's coming, and uh, we got to start learning to to put together wins on the road, and not just that uh, another full sixty. Finally, have you ever seen anything like the uh, decision that was disallowed for uh, Patrick Dwyer's potential hat trick goal, um, with uh, it was caught in the, the back of his pants, and and he reversed himself into the net before the whistle went. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that. Uh, I was hoping that it was a goal because uh, I didn't really know, to be completely honest with you, I have no idea. I still don't really know, but the more I think about it, I don't know how it was no goal. Um, I thought that they would have had to have called it a goal because there was no whistle and the puck was in the net, uh, albeit it wasn't gloved in or anything like that. It was a legal play. But the goalie didn't know where it was. I mean, that's... The only person that knew who uh, it was was Patrick Dwyer. Yeah, so I mean, uh, regardless of a goal or not, uh, it's a pretty funny clip, and I think one that'll get shared around here and uh, probably make its way around because uh, we all had a good chuckle on the bench uh, at that time. And I think that uh, well, that's one of the biggest things to take out of tonight's game. Everybody smiling, and uh, that's that's nice to see as a coach, and uh, you know, me smiling as well. And I think that the, that positivity can go a long way for a struggling hockey team. And, um, so I was really happy to look down the bench and up and down the bench and see guys joking again and laughing and smiling and uh, you know we will hope to build on that tomorrow.